I'm Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, I want to explore the Wrecker amp models on the Axe FX3, FM9, and FM3. These models are based on real world train wreck amplifiers, some of the most desirable, coveted, and expensive amplifiers of all time, designed and built by the late Ken Fisher. They're kind of renowned for being super dynamic amplifiers that are very unforgiving, that respond really well to changes in your playing dynamics, articulation, and of course, tweaking your guitar volume and tone controls. And that's my main tip for today. We're just gonna explore these models and I wanna show you the range of tones that you can draw out of them just by manipulating the controls on your guitar. We'll start with the Wrecker Liverpool at stock settings. I'll just have my guitar wide open, play you some crunchy stuff, and then I'll wind my volume control back and you'll hear how beautiful and chimey it gets. It almost goes from a super angry, thick Marshall style tone to a sweet Vox style tone. I'm using good old LTTV Mix 7, available for free on Exchange and my daily driver reverb, the London plate with a mix at 15%. Let's go. <laughs> Like I said, so dynamic, you can just sit there with this and get your clean to mean tone just using your volume control. There is a bright version of this amplifier in here, which enables a bright switch. If you're using a darker sounding guitar, this is gonna be really, really handy. And with this, uh, generally with this particular model, I actually like to pull a little bit of bass out anyway, and I'll just ride the presence control down and push the mids. Uh, playing around with the drive is really interesting on these because I just kind of see this as like an optimization control for your guitar. Obviously, if you have less drive, uh, the maximum on your volume control is gonna get less saturated, but there is a point where it just starts to get kind of uh, undefined and muddy. So what I'm gonna do is just pull the drive control up because I want that super saturated thing at full volume, but at around seven, I want it to crunch. So we'll start really clean this time and then I'll bring it up. <laughs> Unreal, absolutely unreal. Let's hear another model on here. I'm gonna to switch to channel B over here where I have the Wrecker Express on there. Different vibe to the Liverpool, same kind of dynamic response, but uh, to me, I don't know, this one just kind of leans more towards that chimey thing. It's like less fat sounding and a little more open. <laughs> There is also the Wrecker 
Rocket on here, which to my ears is way more in the kind of Vox category and a good giveaway that it's probably Vox inspired is this high cut control. But uh, again, just drive at noon. I've turned the bass and treble down a little bit. Uh, this one has a different thing going on again. This is kind of the beauty. You could use any of these three models as a starting point for your tone and just like I've been doing the whole time, play around with your volume control to get everything you need. <laughs> What's particularly fun with this particular model is to turn the bass up so it gets a little bit flubby, but then run something like a treble booster in front of it. And this is kind of going to double up that volume control effect as well. <laughs> Now there are a few other Trainwreck inspired designs in here, notably the Comet amps, but I think my actual favorite Trainwreck is this FAS Rec, which is basically an idealized train wreck. Uh, there's some stuff going on with the advanced parameters like the preamp bias, but this one I can just dial up at stock settings. It's one of my favorite kind of Marshall style crunch tones, and it's got everything that we were just talking about with the volume control. Can either use it at stock settings or I can turn the drive, bass, middle and treble all the way to 10 and have a lot of fun with it there. In fact, I'm going to start at stock settings, then I'll crank them all up and repeat the dose to play you all out. If you have any particular questions about these amp models or anything else that I've covered on this series of Tuesday Tone Tips, do not hesitate to put it in the comments section below and I will see you all next week for another Tuesday Tone Tip. This is the FAS Rec, one of my favorite crunchy amps. Let's go. <laughs>